Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers with me, Mewhart 37. So we are here in Clinton, Indiana. If you remember that hellacious landing. Um, it's early in the morning, so we'll do a little flight. So we're going to be going up to Peoria, Peoria, Illinois. It's a little bit shorter than the last flight. It's only about 120 nautical miles. And as you can see, it started out on the uh, runway. Um, apparently Clinton has no like parking spots or anything on the game, so it had to start us on the runway. So we're on runway 36. Straight north. See, it's a little darker over there, huh? To the west. Not too many clouds. Alright, jumping in this thing. Alright, let's go up to FS Passengers real quick. We'll get this started. Alright. So we got the three passengers, two. So all five, um... I think last time we used like 40% and we had more than enough. This one's a little bit shorter, so let's go to like... I don't know if I want to... You know, we'll go like 37%. It doesn't really matter. Can I not move? There we go. Because I know last time we got like 200 pounds of luggage in there. Didn't we get like 200 pounds last time? Over 200 pounds? I'll put 205. Alright, so we need to set our type, which is a normal flight. And our destination... Uh-oh. All right. KPIA, Greater Peoria Regional. Destination set. I'll go ahead and move this back down a little bit to 200. Uh, how far will it take to get? I'll take it to 200. Because we're not going to burn very much fuel loading or any, or because there's no taxing or anything, but we'll go ahead and load it. Engine instrument check flight control. Make sure we got all of our passengers. Alright. So I can even remember. Sometimes it's like I can't even remember how to start this thing up. We need to. Alright, there's the fuel. Move these all the way up. Put this on low idle. As we go up to the top, you need to turn on the battery. Nav. The alternators come on as well, the mags. Uh, actually, I should turn on the landing lights on the strobe as well since we're already on the runway. I hope they don't ding us for that. Left engine start. Did I not turn on? I didn't turn on the fuel boost again. I did that last time. Stupid. I don't remember that. Oops. I put this on low idle. Alright, the alternator. Fuel pump. Mags. Start up the right. Alright, I'm going to open these cowlings as well since we're going to sit here for just a minute. Alright, we turn off the fuel pump. Oh, there's a... I know we have a dome light in here somewhere. It might be over to the right. I can't remember exactly where it is. Here we go. This will help. There we go. And I know we've got lights for the instruments here. I'll get that set up in just a second. Alright. Turn on the windshield heat. And the pedo heat. Turn all of our avionics. All right. Wait for everything to come on. Where are the lights? Are they over here? No. I can't remember exactly where the light switches are. Don't really use them. Here we go. Well, that third one doesn't work. What does this one do? What is... All right, so that's the dimmer that comes on. It just operates the dimmer of the switches. All right, almost ready. Let me get this, and I'll turn off that dome light. All 
All right, let me bring back the yoke. Make sure everybody's got their seatbelts on. That would have been bad to have forgotten that. I'm going to set two notches on the flaps. Bring down the range, although it will probably reset it on me. There's 50 nautical miles right there. And just so I can see the desired track, go up to 303. All right. Let me close the cowlings real quick. All right, we are ready to rock. Actually, one more thing, I forget about this. Do we have a taxi light? Let's turn on our taxi light. All right, now we're ready to go. Although you can't really see any illumination on the ground, the landing lights or the taxi light. She really wants to go left on me. All right, let's go ahead and try to rotate. Pause her brake, gear up. Man, she's really wanting to go left. All right, I'm gonna retract one notch of flaps. I can tell by the way she's getting up, it is quite heavy. All right, retract the other notch of flaps. Yeah, man, you can tell she's quite heavy. All right. at my heading. Alright, she's got some air, better air speed now. Feels a little bit better. I'll go ahead and want to check the set the autopilot and the heading. Vertical speed. I think I have to hit it one more time though I can't really remember. She's moving up a little. I can't remember if I got to hit it again or not. Let me hit it. She feels like she's going up even more. All right, I think that's it right there. Let's take a look outside real quick. Yeah, nothing really to see, to be quite honest. The, uh, there's a... Clinton is a small town. And it's just, uh... I think it's actually a little bit to the south, so it's actually behind us, because we took it off to the north. But it's a really, really small town. Not, not big at all. I'm thinking like 7,000 people, I think it said. So not much there. It's not really missing anything. All right, but we're well on our way. Like I said, I think it's only like two, no, 120 miles. So yeah, you can see 114 from here. Let's see if we can move this down again. I don't know why it does that. All right, but we're well on our way. So I'll go ahead and speed it up. We're going to go up to 8,500 feet. So I'll go ahead and speed it up, and uh, I'll be back in just a bit.
All right, everybody, 28 miles out. Let's see if we can hit him up on the radio here. The KPIA. If you've been watching, it's like a desolate area, man. There's like nothing around, it seems. KPIA, where are you? There we go. Get up the tower. Peoria Tower, Golf Victor, Four Six. Resize that. Seven miles southeast with Oscar to land. Golf Victor Four Six Two, Peoria Tower. Make left base runway two two. Altimeter two nine eight eight. All right. Light left base runway two. Runway two two. two. So it's pretty hidden left. So. Let's go out to the right a little bit. I'm going to go ahead in just a second, I will. Actually, we should have the yell damper on, I guess. What, up is auto, left is on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the autopilot. Alright. Let's see, it still has heading altimeter in there. I don't know why. Alright, so switch that on. And with the heading, <clears throat> excuse me, the heading, see this isn't cleared. Cut the throttle, see if I can get it to descend. Let's see if she'll stay with me. Or is she going to try and go back to 8500? Right, here is she gonna come back down? I think she is. Yes, there she's coming back down. Cut the throttle just a little bit more. Oh, she's not gonna go to. All right, so it's not. Yeah, it was setting at zero anyway. I just don't know how to get it to work. To be quite honest. Alright, so we need to we need to get down though. No, not quite like that. Let's see if I can hold her right there. Well so I wanna check the map real quick. I'm not sure if it's got ILS runways or not. Twenty-two, nothing. Uh, what is the altitude? Alright, elevation is 660 feet. So that's going to be us right there, 22. So we're basically kind of like straight in. But we need to get down. I believe it's saying we're something like 14 miles out, something like that. See, fiddling around with that autopilot, man, it just messes everything up. See how far I can bring this back before I get the warning. There we go. Let me check. All right, yeah, we're 17 miles out. Probably if I move that, I won't be able to see it. Yeah. See, from this, I don't know, from 22. Yeah, it's not. I was thinking, yeah. 27 is straight across, so 22. Should be across a little bit. Kind of confused.
22 is almost dead left though. I'm wondering if that's not it's So we're 11 miles out. I hope that's not us. It seems like we shouldn't be able to quite able to see it just yet. We need to descend a lot quicker. So that's what I wish I could move that map as well. Make it a lot easier. Enrich this mixture. As we come down. So that's got to be us right there, coming down like that. Or no, or, well, shoot. You see, there's one, that could, but that can't be 22. Go back up to the map. this over yeah 2-2 two, two, that's it right there so that is us it just seems like 22 it shouldn't be that of much of an angle so I can't tell if that's a runway or not Kind of hard to tell. All right, forty six hundred feet. Probably come back to the left just a little bit. Although that map is always deceiving. Looks like this is it right here. That'll be us right over there. You can see it read, redid itself. Clear these messages about the airspace. Move this up. I can't even see the runways from that from that view. Yeah, that's us right there. So we don't want to get too low, but as close as we are, we sure as heck don't want to be at like three thousand feet or anything. Peoria. There's some gambling boats in Peoria. See, from the looks of it, we should almost be heading in right now. So is that 22? I'll tell you, this has got me almost... That's got to be us. Right over there. I wish we could slow down just a little bit, but it's not going to let me. It's going to give me the warning about the zone. Alright, let me go ahead and disable the autopilot.
hand flying so much easier. I thought I just saw the lights saying we were low. Need to go out to the right just a little bit more. Actually, we need to have this full as well. There we go. We'll put out one notch of flaps. All right, gears coming down. Increase the throttle just a little bit. Surprised they haven't given us clearance to land. There we go. Wait, you see we're a little low. Trying to trim this thing, it just wants to keep dropping a little too much. There we go. Speed coming down. Try and hold her level to we're back on that glide slope. Alright, there we go. Second notch of flaps. Seems like we're coming in so slow, but we well, I guess we kind of are just over 100 knots. gonna end up high. Alright, we're at full flaps. Hell of a lot better approach than into Clinton, man. That that landing at Clinton in the approach too was just atrocious. I see we've gotten low again. I'm trying to fill around with the trim, just can't quite get it right. slow down just a little bit. Not too much. We're up and too much. And the final approach was crap. We're over to the right. Now we're way over to the right. Dag on it. Final approach was just crap. Got my nose way up in the air as well. That was a crappy final approach. Just terrible. Golf Victor 462, turn next taxiway. Alright, looks like the t we got a well we got taxiways on left and right. I'll the head left. That doesn't look, all right, there's the taxiway. I was gonna say it looked like dirt.
Alright, off the runway. Oh, Victor 462, contact ground on 121.85. Knowledge that. 121.85, off Victor 462. Alright, turn on the tax delay. Uh, landing lights and strobe off. Put up the ground. Uh, it takes it apart. You're at ground, off Victor 462. Hopefully it's over here somewhere, not on the other side of the runway again. Sweet. Made the right choice. Usually I'm wrong when I can choose left or right. That one was correct. Yep, the approach was crap because I ended up getting too low again. And you gotta level out and you just can't see the runway. And then you get over to the right and everything. Not good. And I said the approach is better than how we were approaching in Clinton, but damn. This really screwed up final. So spoke too soon, jinxed myself. Alright, I wish let's see if we can see you parking a little bit closer. I don't know why it always it's gotta put you over at the end. Like, come on now. Looks like there is some parking spaces, but I can't see the lines to them. Here we go. There's a line over here to our left. Right, we'll just take this one. Right over here, right up to the doors for our passengers. All right. Stop right here. Get rid of this yoke. Parking brake. Go ahead and cut the fuel. Turn all this off. I'll go ahead and open the door, let them out. Alright, turn off the alternators. The lights. Turn off the battery. And we're good. Just wait on them to get out. <laughs> Imaginary passengers would be cool if you could see anything. All right, they're out. Oops, go ahead in the flight. Flight distance 118 nautical miles, time airborne 49 minutes, uh. Flight block 5246, time on the ground 7.5 minutes, average speed 146 knots, climb time 11 minutes, cruise time 30 minutes, average cruise speed 162.37 knots, descent time 8 minutes, landing speed 76.95, uh, touchdown 54.6 feet a minute, kiss, landing pitch 5.13 degrees, landing weight 4,638 pounds, total fuel used 118 pounds, climb fuel used Fuel used 39 pounds, cruise 68 pounds, cruise fuel an hour 136 pounds, and descent fuel used 11 pounds. Ticket income 551, cargo 60, fuel cost is 104, airport taxes cost 4, insurance costs 26. Uh, total will come $477 times 50 gives us 23,850. For some reason, I was thinking like 50,000, but man, that was like half that. Considering, uh, Everything was good. They gave, thought we should be 100%, so it increases 0.37 to 96.3%. Oh, no. Look at that. All right, pilot bonus 230, 50 for the smooth landing, 150 because it was a perfect flight, 30 points for landing at the scheduled airport. Yeah, see, I got dinged for this, and I couldn't do anything about it. It's considered bad practice to leave the landing lights turned on when the aircraft is on the parking ramp. We didn't. We were on the... Yeah, we were on the... Uh... Runway it is considered bad practice to leave the strobes on when you're on the parking ramp. We were on the runway. Beacon lights must be activated as soon as the engine is running. We can't do anything about that. But we were on the runway. We weren't uh, on a parking ramp. All right, so we're in Peoria. I think the next flight is we're going to go to 
up to Oshkosh. And that's about as far north as we're going to go for right now. I'll turn around and start heading south. And I think when we head south, we'll do some longer flights uh, just to make some bigger money. And we're going to need that money. Uh, we're at about $800,000 right now. And I was checking last night. Like a caravan, which I don't want to buy, but the caravan itself is $2.8 So we're like $2 million away from that. Hey... And making twenty three grand, we can't do that. But there's got to, there's got to be another, um, at least another plane or two in between that. It only gave me the price and everything for the planes that are installed. I don't have some of my smaller planes installed from because when I redid FSX, I haven't installed all my planes. So I'll install a couple of the smaller ones. Maybe we can uh, buy one of those. Maybe kind of soon. I don't know. We got we only got eight hundred grand, eight hundred twenty grand now. So we need some longer flights. Uh, after Oshkosh uh, to pick up some bigger money but that's going to be it for this episode here in Peoria close that door uh, so next flight up to Oshkosh and then we'll head south so I hope you all enjoyed this episode and I'll catch you on the next flight